<laughs> That's a new one. Hey everyone, Solar Primal here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In this part, well, we do have something to bring back to Professor Elm, but I want to see these places here, the ruins of Alf, just because I feel like it. It was something I explored as a kid. I know they changed it quite a bit here, but eh, why not just give it a shot right now? I should check to make sure that I have a certain item, but let's just see what we can do right now. Hopefully... Nope, nothing. Okay. Oh, Hyper Potion. That's a new one. Okay, cool. Yeah, we got Claps with us right now because you know what? I think claps deserve some, uh, claps deserve some claps. Or no. No, that's not really what I wanted to say. More or less, I think claps should just get some time in the sun. Even though it's nighttime, that's okay. Alright, I went ahead and grabbed the item that I was supposed to bring with me because I guess I forgot I didn't have one. Uh, I'm not sure if any of these people have anything useful to say, aside from that the ruins are super old and they're mysterious. Ooh. If I'm gonna be real with you guys, this is basically... What the heck is up with this guy? I guess he's important? Oh, okay. Yeah, so this place is essentially the hub for all the unknown Pokemon. Or unknown? Unknown, I think. Mysterious Hall. Couldn't have gone with a better title, guys. In fact, you could see one of them over there. Are you, uh... Haha, <laughs> you're a photographer. Haha. <laughs> well, might as well get a picture of this event. Probably one of the few times we'll try to be over here. Like, I kind of want to be checking in with this place once in a while, but... Thing is, it's like... I'm gonna need surf later, so if I remember to come back here after I get surf, cool. But if I don't, then it's like, whoopsie. Okay, I guess I can't do anything there. Ah, oh, it's like a weird maze. And the uh, poor unfortunate gal's over here. Welcome to this chamber. We are reconstructing ancient Pokemon stone panels. You can read it to. Okay. So basically, it's a puzzle. This Pokemon hides on the seafloor and watches the shore with its eyes on its back. That sounds gross, but you sh might be able to figure this one. Oh, I have to. Do I have to? Oh, I have to use the. How do I select it? Oh, do I just. Oh, I have to. Oh. There you go, buddy. Fixed your little eye there. Okay, so I have to tap the screen here. The get these to fit. I'm missing one more. Ooh. My bad. <laughs> that goes up there. Just a little spinny puzzle. Yes, you used to have to do this on a D-pad with gold and silver, so that's what I thought I had to do. And I fell. Oh. Well, glad we didn't break our knees or anything. Did you just come from above? So, you must have solved the puzzles, uh, the stone panel puzzle, whatever. That is wonderful. You seem to have uh, some talent with uh, archaeology. That was a puzzle, it had nothing to do with archaeology. Mm. I will give you this unknown report. This uh, report, it <laughs> records unknown as you captured them. I am sure it will come in handy. It would come in handy if I was actually going to be doing that. I don't think it's something I'm going to be willing to do, but... We will see. There's a strange presence here. I wonder what that strange presence could be. It's a Pokemon, that's for sure. Oh my god, it's an unknown! I want to say something else, but I won't. Oh my goodness. But yeah, these are unknown. They're not very useful. They basically help spell things. And they're psychic type and come up as level 5 and... They do come in various shapes, basically to symbolize the alphabet, so that's what they do. Oh, so first an H and an I. Oh, they're saying hi! Aww, isn't that sweet? Let's kill it. 
I mean, astonish it, and then it faints. See? It... No harm, no foul. Right? Cool. If I don't find the ladder in the next two se- mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. I slap on the rappel and I'm ten feet away from this, uh... That. Thanks, photographer guy. Thanks for helping. Now, is there any other ones I can check out? Because I think before I didn't have Rock Smash, so I couldn't check anything else out. But, yeah, no, I definitely can't. All right, go. Cool. Well, that was the Ruins of Al for now. <laughs> I really don't think I'm going to be doing much with that. Wow, the Repel wore off that quick. Yikes. Well, that's all right. I don't think we actually need it anymore. We're just going to be heading over to the professor, the professor. So I might just have to cut back, cut back, because that's a bit of a walking thing. So I'll be right back. Oh, hi, Walt, before I cut away. Zip, what are you doing? Oh, today's a bug catching competition. Isn't that cool? I don't care. I don't care. All right. I already went and got the item over here, and I forgot what it was, so my bad, sorry. But it's okay. So I'll be back at the professor's lab. And we're here we are, we're back at the professor's lab, let's see. Gordon, I thought the egg hatched. Where's the Pokemon? I'd love to take a look at the Pokemon that you hatched from the egg, Gordon. You are a piece of shit, and you should go fuck yourself. To make me have to switch my Pokemon around just because you can't fucking ask me to pull out the Pokeball, you need me to switch it and put it in the front of my party. What? That Pokemon? I don't know if that's what his voice was, so I don't care. Hmm. Just as I. As far as I know, that's not a Pokemon like this in Johto. It is a Johto. <clears throat> just like Miss Professor was saying over the phone, the legendary Pokemon could be. Oh, never mind. Anyway, I'm sure things will be happening around you, Gordon. You are making... You're making me all excited. And bothered. I'll give you this as a present for that. Please take it. Another Everstone! Yay! Yay! That's Neverstone. No shit. A Pokemon changes its shape as it evolves. But if it's holding the Neverstone, you can prevent it from evolving. If you like it that way, if you like the way a Pokemon is now, have it hold the Everstone. Gordon, good luck with your journey. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget about my research, bitch. Excuse me? Well... <sighs> well, how do you feel, little Togepi? Some of fighting off sleep. Oh... Are you that bored? Okay, well you can go to the back of the party and stay bored. I don't want the Togepi on my team. I'm a, I just might switch it out right now. Because these guys are a lot more holy moly. There's a leaf! What? <laughs> okay. Your Pokemon stretches by out uh, and it's relaxing. Ah, alright, cool. Sure, it's like better than yawning. I'm messing with the audio right now. Cool. All right, so I'll cut back to uh, back to where we cut the pseudo Udo, basically. So I'll be right back. All right, so now we're back here, and I think for the rest of the episode, I think we're gonna try and make our way up to Equitic City. Equitic City. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, that was the worst I've ever done. Oh, so we have op well, we technically don't have options because basically there's a ledge at the top over there. I do want to get stuff over there, and I do want to battle that trainer, but we will do it. We could battle these two. We will, or I will, but for now, I'm definitely gonna have to battle these two. So. <laughs> Oh, you're a little cute little trainer. I said a little twice, don't worry about it. Don't you want to battle me? Ma'am, I'm, I'm 10. 
Hey, hey, hey there, you young trainer, won't you battle with me? Don't know why I'm into a song. I just... Shut up, I do what I want. Oh my goodness, double the beauty! K... Collie? I don't know. Anyways, they got Clefable and Wigglytuff. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Cause I mean, as much as Claps is like good to go, Claps ain't good to go yet. <laughs> Ooh, let's get Lump out here and yeah, let's try Rock Smash. I'm gonna aim for the Wigglytuff. Yeah, poor Claps just doesn't have the right moves yet. Not to be able to defend itself enough. At least I don't think... Oh, dear. Sure, alright. You want me to hurt your friend more, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see. I, for shits and giggles, I'm gonna make that one yawn. And because I'm in this weird loop now, I now have to use the same move over again. And I'm also infatuated with the same uh, Pokemon, so I don't really have a choice. Pyron's kind of stuck in this love loop, you could say. Uh, let's do confusion on you. I should have done the other one. Oh well. That's fine. Come on, Pyron. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay, you didn't get to... I didn't get to choose which one to attack. That's fine. No biggie. Yeah, there you go. Double slap him out of his infatuation. Even though it doesn't really work that way. Ooh. Come on, Lump. Show us what you got. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, at least that one's asleep. That's good. I feel like Confusion is going to do about the same. I could easily just switch out Pyron, but I'm trying not to spread out the experience too thin. If that makes sense. Because I could just easily do that, but we'll see. <clears throat> Lump's uh, not doing too much, but oh well. I am going to take advantage of using a potion right now because, well... Kyra needs a little bit of love. And that's alright. In fact, it, I, I should point out, this is our first battle since the last recording, basically. I've not, have a, I've not had a single battle since. And so my money situation is very low. I could have talked to the mother. The mother. Uh-huh. And gotten some money from her, but I'm gonna hang on to it a bit longer. I don't know if I have a plan for it or if I just want to hang on to it because I feel like it. So, oop. Let's see, he's, yeah, he's still in love. He's forever in love. So there's nothing I can do. Oh, yeah, something else that they kind of implement with these double battles is the growls affect both Pokemon now. Oh, good. Confusion was disabled. Well... Back my ham sandwich. Come on, Pyron. Fight the live. There we go. Oh, perfect. And a critical hit. Love it. Love it, need it, want it, have it. Cool. Now I just need to survive this, which should be pretty easy. I think it's going to get knocked out pretty soon here. Yeah, you got to watch out for these normal types. I'll admit, I know. Oh, there's more. Double the wiggly tough. Which means it's gonna be super tough. I might be. Well, it's not like I have much choice in the matter. In terms of. <sighs> Maybe I should have kept Claps out here because Claps was a female. Claps would not be infatuated by the ladies. Good! And now they disabled. Okay, good. That ended so I can do whatever the hell I want now. Which it sure as hell not gonna be the Rock Smash anymore. We're gonna do Flame Wheel. Why? I could probably do more damage with the Flame Wheel. Yep. 
Someone just got charmed, didn't they? Mm hmm. Is. Lump gonna attack? There we go. I forgot Lump is very slow, so when I don't see him attack for a while, I get kind of confused. That's okay. There we go. Everybody sharing the love. Let's see. So I guess I'm not infatuated anymore. So I should be good. I get another yawn and... Eh, let's try to get rid of the Wigglytuff. Why not? It's asleep, but it might be better if I get rid of it. Just so it doesn't cause me any more problems. And then that's one less thing to get infatuated with. There we go. Lump can take all the double smacks. Lump won't even know about the double smack until next week. Take that as you will. There we go. You're feeling drowsy. Ooh. All right, we're gonna finish this battle off, and then we can finally make it to Acritique City. Okay, that did not work. Oh dear. Well, I mean, it ain't bad, but oh, now it's bad. Oh, poor Lumpy needs to get switched out. Anyways, that's fine. Because we can't have Lump using Yawn over and over again, thanks to Encore. So, let's see if we can get Slash to take care of this problem that we have. I want to not use this move, the Vacuum Wave, but you know what? Yeah, we'll try it, see what happens. Vacuum Wave shouldn't cause us to be infatuated. Because it doesn't physically hit. So we should be okay that way. Pyron is gaga eyed for a fable. You know, I won't judge. But I think he should probably stick to. I don't know. His kind, if that makes sense. Come on, Pyron. You can get out. Yeah. There we go. Didn't stall the battle any longer than it had to be. Perfect. I'm happy for you. Happy for you, happy for me. There we go. Damn right, I'm good. You say strong. Yeah, yeah, I'm strong. I'm strong. Oh. Liz is calling me. What? Yeah, yeah, listen, listen. Uh, do you know Earl, the teacher who runs the Pokemon City Violet? I saw him doing. What? Oh, Purette. Pure. Yeah, whatever. I can't pronounce it. It was funny. <laughs> so he was basically doing ballerina moves. Ah, we almost made it. Oh, it's a new Pokemon. Stantler! Apparently, uh. Danny Avedon's favorite Pokemon. I won't judge. Son of a bitch! Fuck Stantler! <laughs> no, you just, you just put me to sleep. That's... I mean, yeah, sure, I just finished doing that to a bunch of... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, yeah, damn right you woke up. That probably hurt like hell. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay, let's get Slash out there. Big Brother Slash will take care of this. Yeah. Astonish on a bug type? Yeah, apparently it does stuff. I mean, let's get the vacuum wave maybe? Shouldn't kill it one hit. I kind of want to catch it for no apparent reason. So, try not to fully kill it. Let's do the false swipe because then that will leave it with 1 HP. I never really got to utilize false swipe as much as I have in this playthrough. So, that's cool. Uh, let's use Pokeball. I purposely tried not to use all my my balls because when you buy more, it brings it back to the front. Doesn't look like I might have a choice here in a bit. Cause it looks like I have. Uh, well, I got four Great Balls, so if it takes four Great Balls to catch this thing, 
it's gonna die. Because that would just be a shame. Not that I plan on catching anything anytime soon. Aside from, like, the random one, like this. I wanted to catch a Spinarak back at the other route, because I kept running into them, but, oh well. Uh, the curve antlers stability change the flow of air to create a strange space where reality is distorted. It also looks like its antlers are eyes that are staring at you. Interesting choice. But hey, reindeer, am I right? Ah, <sighs> alright, well, now that we're in Ecritique City, I feel like there's supposed to be something supposed to happen. There we go. That's what I was waiting to happen. Look at this little fellow that's blocking our way. Hi, I'm Bill. How are you? Hmm? Gordon, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system that to transfer Pokemon. But it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, did you know that Hoenn, the Hoenn region, the, this girl Lynette from Hoenn made this Pokemon storage system easier to use? My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage system. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod to see my folks. Bye bye Alright, so that was Bill. So now if you go to your PC, just show that, yeah, right there at the bottom? Yeah, it's Bill's PC now. It doesn't say someone's PC. Is this a photographer? Okay, this is just a creepy old man. Talking about how the kimono girls are super pretty. That's fine. I won't judge. Much. Alright, but with all that being done, we're finally here in Ecritique City and... Well, I'm gonna end off the episode. I will say as a side thing, now that we've encountered Bill, if you go back to Goldenrod, he will give you an Eevee. The reason why I'm not doing that right now is because I do not intend on using an Eevee for the team. As you can see, our team's pretty filled up already. So, in the next part, guys, we're going to have a little explore around at Critique City. And until then, you guys, this is Solar Primal, sign out. And bye for now.